my name is Tara Stinson, author of the book, 100 Things Every Black Girl Should Know. The subtitle for the book is for girls 10 to 100, and I say that, I know that's like a crazy wide demographic, but it's really true. Um, one of the things I say in the intro of the book is if you're old enough to twerk or listen to mainstream radio, then there's some information in here that young girls should be able to read it, even if you're seven years old, or to, to listen to it be read to you. I was inspired to write this book because um, of my mistakes. Um, I wanted girls like me to be able to to not make the same mistakes that I did in order to um, to just avoid some of the unnecessary pain, unnecessary uh, brokenness <laughs> uh, and brokenness. A couple of people asked me like, why black girls? Um, and I guess the short answer for that is because that's my experience. I'm a black girl. Um, always have been, always will be. So, um, and there's, there's things that, that are unique to us, experiences that are unique, unique to us, problems that are unique to us. And um, I, I really want to be a catalyst for uplifting not only the culture, but just us as women and as black and brown girls that need a little bit of inspiration, empowerment, hope. In addition, I hope that girls are just gonna become more in love with themselves. I didn't write it in a way where it's like preachy. It's kind of like, it's very conversational. It's very um, accessible. And I just hope that it's accepted in the spirit that it was written in, which is just like, girl, come on. Like, you got this. You have, you have to go through certain things, but certain things you can avoid. I hope that it's a conversation starter between girls and their mothers or their caretakers. Um, when I was growing up, I grew up in a household, forgive me y'all, but it's the truth. Um, they said, uh, grown folks are talking, get out of here. And that's just not how it should be. If we want to empower them, they have to hear us. They have to listen to the things that we've been through in order to avoid it. And you can't avoid things if you don't know what they are. I hope that some of you watching this um, or reading this or hearing about this are inspired um, even if you don't read the book, to just listen to um, the advice of people that have, the key part is listening to the advice of people that have gone through certain things so that you don't have to. There's a recovery period that some of us aren't built for and um, sometimes the reason why we see people lost along the way is because it was hard for them to recover. Because I have made it through to the other side, I just want to like maybe help pull some people through that are stuck or considering going down the dark road or considering dating the wrong guy because that was really my advice. Everybody has their something, but my mine was just other people and trusting. And, you, and this book will help you to trust yourself. Very personal issue that I speak about in the book and it's um, domestic violence and uh, the cycle of the domestic violence. And in order to um, just to help anyone to avoid this situation or to avoid um, just just physical, mental, emotional, financial abuse. You, uh, I had to put myself out there. Having someone like, you know, pull a gun out of me and, sh you know, um, I talk about that. And uh, a friend who read, who was a part of the early um, readers, of the book, um, she called me and told me that she was going through the same thing. And she was able to um, use it, use this as um, just a uh, push in the right direction because she's like, oh my God, I don't know how, how did she make it through that? I could never go through that. And, and I hope that this does the same thing for anyone who's like, oh my God, I don't want anyone to do that to me. Or, you know, just read my story. Believe me, it can happen to you. So now I'm on the other side of it. And I just wanted to share. It's really hard to share, but I'm, I'm happy I did. If you know a black girl who's going to college or high school, junior high school, um, don't let her go without giving her this book.